By day, a bustling port. By night, a hub for the Templars to trade those who oppose them into slavery. I have located the box, Xiao Zhun. It's in the possession of Yu Deong, another of Zhang Yong's tigers, the one they call the Slaver. So he is responsible for this cruelty. I shall pay him a visit. Tread lightly, sister. The Templars are searching all ships and cargo. They are looking for us now. I know you can kill these lesser men with ease, but I would suggest you remain invisible, a ghost, until you find your target. Hey everybody, this is Kat the Gamer Gal, and we are doing some post commentary on this <laughs> on Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Um I'm actually not really sure if I should be doing this, uh, doing post-commentary. Um, not really good at post-commentary, at least I don't think so. But, anyways, so, yes, <laughs> I really wanted to do some commentary on the game as I'm playing, but that didn't work out very well. So, unfortunately, I had to play this level a few times to... Well, before finally finishing it, to finally, you know, get some of this stuff done, because damn, like, I raged hard <laughs> trying to finish this level. Um, the first parts aren't so bad, it's always when I get to the middle, I always have a hard time with certain sections of the game. So, you can see me moving pretty fast, because I, I, like, I've done this part before, I was like, I'm just gonna just run through it. So, like... I already knew what the heck I was doing. Here, I even knew what I was doing because I've already done this. Actually, I didn't think I'd make that jump. <laughs> but anyway, yep. So there I go, climbing up. And they're done. Like, like I'm moving fast because I knew what I'm doing. Um, there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video. Because I only get like five minutes to record. And all my footage is about four minutes and 50 seconds long um like this is where, how far i got and then i stopped i think the first time because i screwed up not here but right after this guard so wait for him to go on by now i actually cannot move her right here this is like a miniature tutorial so i kind of had to wait for him to go through You know, it was right here, I made a mistake. I was like, I'll just jump and uh, be loud, but no. Turns out there was a hanging ceiling there that I didn't know of. Like, I was trying to move, and I was like, do it, go. And I was like, oh wait, it's because I'm holding LT. So. Which, see, that makes her tuck up, so Xiao Jun could, uh, pretty much hide. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Like, I figured out how to do it, I figured out how to- I learned how to, uh, move around with this. So we just gotta wait for this guard to turn our back around. Now, I really like the, the concept where when the two guards are talking to each other, um, pretty much it, uh, you know, it allows you that chance to move around them. So we're just gonna silently sit still and wait for the guards to move and keep moving <laughs> yeah oof that was lucky there's a lot of like close calls like that so yeah see the, that was actually a pretty close call now it's very interesting how some of the guards like if you if you ever get caught like they don't they don't uh What's the word I'm looking for? They don't jump down and follow you on the next level. Like, they have their own level of... Like, each floor level. They have their own personal level that they stick to. Alright, so then I come over here. I grab that. And, yep, see, there's the cut. Where I actually, um... Accidentally started over. And I had to continue from a different point. So, I was like, okay, I'll just continue on. From this point. 
but I mean, I, I tried going through here on my own, and that didn't quite work. So I went on ahead and just decided to just start over, so I made sure what I knew what I was doing. I, I really wanted to get gold, <laughs> but I knew that um that wasn't going to help me. Honestly, I mean, sure, it'll help me get more points, but eventually I think I stopped starting over at a certain point. It was mainly because this was just so difficult, this level. Like, the last level, I had a hard time, I raged on it, but, like, this level, this time around, it was more difficult. Oh, I apologize for yawning, um... <laughs> trying to wait for these videos to render and things like that it like taking taking the time to really get sit down and get these videos done um i didn't get done rendering both videos until like on my console until like 11 o'clock at night it was almost midnight and waiting for one of them to render on the computer after i downloaded it you know because I'm not using a, uh, well, I don't think my rendering soft. I don't technically have a really good rendering software. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, guys. Like, I'm, I'm really using Windows Movie Maker. I really don't think anyone's gonna be happy with the fact that that's the, that's the thing I'm using, but it's true. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, I went, finally got through that with ease because I forgot that freaking ceiling was climbable like you can't really tell that the ceiling's climbable you know um but yeah through here it kind of gets a little more difficult for me but i i get the gist of what i gotta do i kind of like sit still long enough to observe before i start recording again so here i'm just gonna go get some more ammo now i did get through this part and I accidentally deleted the footage, so you don't get to see me collect one of the, uh, Art- uh, I was like, I was about to say Artemis, <laughs> but one of the Animus shards, so. So I sync it up, and I think I actually show you on the map that I get an Animus shard at a certain location, so. I'm gonna quickly, like, I quickly go through the beginning because I want to make sure there's no animus shard there. Yeah, see, right here, I'm pointing at the area, and I'm showing you what it was, and I'm trying to point, and I'm showing it the animus shard is at a certain location that I found one at, but uh, I already picked it up by accident and lost that footage, so... And then I quickly go through because I want to see what I'm, what I'm up against when I, <laughs> right before I go. Who this level was a nightmare, and this game is on normal, which usually I'm decent at an Assassin's Creed game, but I think it's because this is a different kind of Assassin's Creed game. You know, this is a 2D side scroller, and it should be easy, but. You know, I mean, because I've played Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed's like my thing. So. But, you know, I'm kind of glad that it isn't easy. I'm glad that it, it's not. Now, see, right here is where I actually found that anima shard. But I've already picked it up. So. But I have to sit still here because the guard behind me actually looks up. Ooh, pardon me, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to let the guard see me now. Luckily for me, if I can be on the side of the pole here and, and this guard over there can't see me, which is excellent. You know, there's a different level, plain level that, um, you know, that they are at. And I really like that, so. Also, the, I'm pretty sure you noticed the footage kind of just jittering right there. That's because I had to splice two videos together and... I had just a little bit from the last video left over, or that it recorded, so I was like, okay. I'll just splice them together the best I can.
Whew, I move fast. <laughs> like, I know not to sit still. I gotta move fast. Now, there's this guy who's, uh, I think, an a crossbow guy. I think is they call him an archer. I can't remember what do they call him in the last level. But, um, I do, I have to, like, I look out for him while I'm trying to get through. Also, I apologize for any background noises. I'm in my room, and my dog is laying next to me, and she's very noisy, so I cannot... Uh, I cannot uh, get her to be quiet. <laughs> but anyways... So, I wait for... Not the guard up down there, or up there, but I wait for the guard down there to finally move. And I accidentally get caught. Look, perfect. Perfect! And I totally realized that I didn't have to do that with this guard, but you know, like you're gonna find you're gonna see me here in a minute once that other guy says, Oh, they're gone. I'm gonna notice that there's this you know, this uh netting here and I'm like, Oh man, I could've just easily avoided that guy without killing him. But I didn't. And I was like, Psh man. But it's okay, I mean, I knew, and I know I'm gonna have to resort to killing a few. Even though I probably shouldn't, I probably could probably go through this whole level without killing anybody. But I really needed to get through, so. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so. Like, look into the area, because I've never, I haven't been, I have never gotten this far at this time. So I'm like, trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't mean to yawn. I'm. It's like 4:50 in the morning. I, f I just woke up. And I was like, "Damn, I need to get this. <laughs> I need to get this dialogue done. This post commentary." <laughs> so here I am. I'm doing post commentary. I have heard rumors about the Portuguese smuggling slaves out of here. Temper informants, the worst kind of traitor. I will end that betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I won't lie, I, f I kind of fuck it up here. I, I really mess up right here when it comes to uh, killing this informant. Because I wasn't exactly sure how to go about it. But, uh, like I saw, I see that shiny box, I'm like, whoa. Oh, pardon me, I'm so sorry. I look at it, I'm like, I can hide in that, but that didn't quite work out. So... I just had to go resorting to uh, fighting my way through, unfortunately. I'm lucky I don't die here. <laughs> like, when it comes to combat, I like I know how to block and everything. I'm really good at fighting. I'm just this time around, not so good. <laughs> but yeah, like I I should have approached that differently. I know that, like, I sit down and I look at it, and I'm like, man, I, c I know I could have approached it differently, but I didn't, unfortunately. But I tried. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of run on through. Now here, I think I jump, yeah, I jump across the water, because I don't know what happens. Luckily for me, it doesn't kill me. <laughs> it just takes me back to where I jumped off from. So, that's a good thing. At least it's not like Assassin's Creed, like the very first Assassin's Creed, where, uh, pretty much water kills you. <laughs> mm. So. Boop. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Get that boat over there. And I figured out, oh, well, that's how I'm gonna get across. Cool. So, I think I go back. Yes, I start to go backwards, because I know that's how it's going to lead me to uh, the shard that I saw on my map earlier, I think. Yes. And I'm like, oh, it's another shard. And I was just about to head back, and I was like, oh, wait, I freaking, there's a freaking red rope right here that I can cut. So I cut it, I think, yeah. I'm trying to look for it to see if the white line will cut off, because that's usually what happens when you're right in front of a... Uh, a rope but it doesn't happen so I'm like okay I'll just chance it and it works so I was like oh well 
Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going back, but mainly because of um, me needing more darts. So I went on ahead and pick up a couple more darts, and then I just go back the easy route because doing it the the long way is, you know, just doing it the long way. And I want to go the short route. So. I hope you guys don't hear my dog freaking scratching. She's been doing that all evening. Um, but anyway, so... Uh, yes, so we're trying to do some combat. Good. Keep going and destroy his shield. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Now finish the job and kill him. Sorry, I'm kind of like being quiet so you can hear the dialogue. And there we go. <laughs> Combat finished. So, now here I kind of, I really screw it up. Like, I do. I screwed it up hard. Yep, see? <laughs> I kind of screwed up for myself. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I didn't realize there were two other guards there. Like, if I had known, I would have... <sighs> I would have definitely, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have killed that guy. I would have, like gotten around him, which I think at this point I die anyways with the guard with the shield that we saw earlier. So, I get down there, I follow along the netting, but then I decide to be stupid and yeah, jump up there. I'm like, oh well, shit. I try fighting him, but he beats me up anyway, so as you can see, I died there. <laughs> Um, but luckily we don't- the checkpoint's not too far. So, you probably just saw the screen jitter. I think that's where I spliced two videos. No. No, it's- it's one video still. Um. Alright. So then those two guards are gonna move. And I'm gonna jump back down there and, uh, finally get there. So I kind of- was more stealthy this time around. See, when it comes to certain parts in, in the game, I kind of rush ahead. I don't stop to take my time. So I'm kind of just waiting for this guard, because I know he looks down here. It's like for a split second. And then he then he goes, turns around and he goes. I was like, okay. I'll take my chance here. And there we go. Finally got that Artemis. Uh, not Artemis. <laughs> I keep calling Artemis. That Animus shard. And then I just climb my way back through. Actually, I think I almost climbed up, but I didn't because I saw that there was a paneling underneath me. I was like, well, I'll just continue this way. Although I could not jump because that one guard. <laughs> but luckily we take care of him. I really like the noise darts. They're very helpful. Yep. No, I was actually able to completely bypass this part right here very easily. Very, very easily. So. I'm actually surprised how smooth that transition was. That was actually two videos in one as well. And it transitioned very beautifully. So I did a perfect job on the console when I trans uh, when I made that transition. Um, anyway. So I'm looking real quick to see if there's anything I'm missing. Which I'm not. I'm really I'm, I'm very good at this point. Or I've got everything up to this point. But I realize... Oh, pardon me. I realize that there's this uh, wheel up here. 
I'm like, okay, well, those two guys are talking. We'll hide here, because they don't have a lantern, so I can easily hide. And I had forgotten, like, how long their dialogue was. And luckily, I, I hid just in time, because I knew I was going to need to. So, pretty much, I have to wait for these guards here to do their small patrol. And then turn around and uh, go back to talking, you know, for a few minutes. Well, not even a few minutes, like, for a couple seconds. So I've been trying, I was trying to prepare myself for when they did and get myself ready. Let's see, when they start talking, their field of vision kind of goes away, so that's perfect. Which you guys seen that in the very first uh, playthrough video of this. And there I go. <laughs> but then I realized it just took me in a damn circle. Like, I, I was like, really? Really? I just wasted my time doing that. I see there's a second wheel. I was like, this is a, that was a waste. That was a, that was a complete waste. I was like, can I go back? Nope, I can't go back. So, I was like, okay. What I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna wait for the guards. And I'm gonna move as fast as I can to get down there where the uh, roping was. I thought maybe I could distract them. But my cursor wouldn't go down further enough. So I just quickly just made a judgment call. And as you guys saw, I I did smart. I was like, I was smart. I was able to move perfectly. And see, here is where it was perfect. They don't look down. So I knew it was perfect. It was, it was good enough for me to look or to, to move fast and get this done. Ooh, crap. I almost, yeah, I almost spooked myself there. <laughs> Yep, I pull up the bridge, and he's like, huh? I'm like, oh, well, shoot. That was lucky. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not even kidding. That part was lucky. I realized how lucky I was. I was like, oh, shit, he's gonna catch me. <laughs> and I didn't have to worry about uh, walking slowly, because... The there was no guards there on that bridge, so I I didn't need to walk around. Mm. But that was that was really lucky, wasn't it? I mean, like that guard saw me, and as soon as I got up, I was like, "Wacha!" So I was very careful. This now this part I had a long I had to take care of this I had to do this part really slowly. Because I didn't want to mess up. I was, uh... Really trying to time it. Which, as you guys saw, like, I'm... No, oh, see, look, there's a shift in the camera there. Because I actually had to stop and stop recording so I could record more. So I was ready for when he came out and I knew I didn't know what time they were gonna turn around and look at each other so I had to be careful if they're looking at each other then and well I assassinate one they'll see that so I had to be careful with when I was gonna move because there's that shard down there I wanted to get it but that dude <laughs> you know the one I killed was in the way and the other one's looking Got it. See? Ding. And I try and move fast as possible to get through. Mm. So, I mean, as you guys can see, I'm very, very particular about what I'm doing to get through a certain level. Like, I try to move fast, because I know that sitting, like, sitting around trying to uh, get a part done is not easy. Especially when I only have like five minutes of recording time. So I'm trying to move as fast as possible and not miss anything. That's the, the biggest concern I usually have is I don't want to miss anything. Like, see, look, there's an animus shard right there as well as a secondary objective, which is killing the Templar informant. Which I thought I was going to have a hard time, especially because this bird and me being crouched, I move slow. <laughs> But luckily, I was able to assassinate him with ease. <laughs> I 
I also, like I said, I apologize for any background noises. There is nothing I can do to make my dog stop making those noises. So, I cannot force her to stop making those noises. She's scratching, and I can't force her to stop scratching. Anyways, so there I go. I jump down, I grab that extra um, animus shard, and voila, there I go. Now, guys, I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you a quick warning. Up ahead, right here, where I'm showing you that ship, I had the hardest time. Like I nearly rage quit at this area. I had to get to this area more than once just to freaking get past it. You're gonna see me my you're gonna see my first attempt, and then it's gonna cut, and you're gonna see my second attempt. So here I go. I accidentally made a loud noise jumping through and that guard saw me assassinate that guy so he knew exactly where I was yep see found me I was like oh shit but as you guys can see I, I attack fast like I'm just moving fast so I don't have to. Yeah, so I don't have to uh, <laughs> sit around. I see that chest, and I'm trying to figure out like how to get to it. And I'm like, well, I guess I have to go through the whole boat before I get to it. So the door closes. So I'm like, okay, well, this part's easy. I can just easily hide here. Now, yeah, I'm checking out that treasure chest because I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. But this guy, now because he's got a lantern, I don't know if he looks inside where I'm at. So I just go ahead and assassinate him just in case he does happen to look where I'm at. Then that damn bird. Now I don't know if it was when I jumped into the hole or if it was for something entirely different. But yep. So he saw me assassinate that guy. So he's like, yep, there she's at. And I'm going to cut here so you guys... I pretty much rage quit right there, and, <laughs> and see that it was a huge jump. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> and here we go, I'm just fighting the guards, because I had gotten caught, so I was like, yep. I mean, I knew I could easily avoid them, but... I got caught. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him and move. I had done this part more than once. There was even a section of the where I had gone up that wall instead of going through the plank to get to this. That I kind of skipped over that. Uh, I think I recorded it, but I don't remember if I still have the footage or not. So anyway, but I, yeah, I'm moving pretty fast here because I figured out what I was doing. And I realized what I was doing wrong. Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah, the bird didn't get angry this time around. So I think it's because I was holding LT. But anyway, yeah, so I climb up here. Now, I tried jumping off so I can land on that. Yeah, see, there we go. But then I try climbing up here. And I, and I don't want to climb. Like, climb up, which unfortunately I am forced to. Because... If I were to, I was trying to climb to that netting, as you can see on the side, but for some reason, that was the only way I could get to it was when I climbed up there with the guard and killed him, which sucks. But anyway, so I quickly grab this animus shard, which I think there was a one, another one before it in that area, but I can't remember. I don't think so. But anyway, so I, I went on ahead and I grabbed this animus shard up here. And I had never gotten this far, guys. That guard down there where the netting was, like, that was as far as I could go, and then I kept dying. Like, it was ridiculous how much I was dying. So. So I'm taking a look around. I'm, look, I'm like, observing real quick. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for him to come over here, and I'm going to kill him. There we go. And I got done. I was like, that's it. I'm done. So, I pretty much, from here, it kind of made sense what I was doing. It was a little easier this time around. 
Because, you know, the process of what I need to do, it made sense from what I had to accomplish from this point. So I go ahead and I go over here. Do my leap of faith. And then I realize, yeah, I was right. I had to wait until I got out of the boat to get back in it to get these treasure chests. And voila! So I climb up here because I know there's another anima shard. Because I seen it on my map earlier when I was looking. And honestly, I could have easily avoided this guy. But I think... I didn't care. I was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and kill him. Just make it easier on me. Although I probably could have avoided him. Avoided killing him, but... I mean... I don't know. It just made it made the process a little easier for me. Yep, so we're just going to... Jump. Wall jump there, so to speak. And... Voila. So this area I actually already passed. You can see the guard I had killed up on that thing over there so I had killed guard and gotten through the, the footage kind of just cut there I apologize but I had to uh, I had to splice two footages uh, two videos together again so and there we go but the boat can't go completely through until we get to the other side so I think I works I'm like stop recording or yeah I was like record that or whatever, so I think that's what I did. If that, I was just observing what I was doing. But anyway, um, and there we go, we got the boat, so now we can go through or get through entirely. And this is what I love about Eagle Vision so, Eagle Vision makes me look further, which is very helpful. Whew. Close. Now I have to kill this Gargus. He doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm pretty sure I could have avoided him, like I said. But it just made it was just easier if I killed him. It really was. Cause I'm not about to, you know, stand around and take forever and a day to wait for a character to do something for me. Yep, and there's a hev heavy archer. Right there. I see that arm, uh, that animus shard. And don't worry, I do get to it. So, like, that's the one thing. I try to get all the animus shards in one go. Because it looks, it looks fairly easy for me to get them. So I'm like, this shouldn't be difficult. I swear, this guard on the left side, he doesn't know which direction to look. He's like... He looks everywhere, and then he looks for a split second one way, looks for a split second in another way. I actually thought I was going to get caught right there with that guard, but it didn't happen. I was like, whew, that was lucky. <laughs> I have a lot of lucky calls, as you can see. But yeah, I was like, well, I gotta get past this guard, and I don't really think I'll be able to just waltz past him. So waltz past him, excuse me. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna whistle. Does he get closer? Nope, he doesn't move closer, so I had to move a little bit to get him to come closer. And there we go. Stealthy and quick. <laughs> So I'm just observing this guy over here, waiting for him to come through, because I didn't know how, like, how far his view moved, and I knew I had to be fast. Right. And I didn't realize there was a panel up here, but I'm glad I moved up here, because I look at my map, I was like, oh yeah, that's another shard. Bada bing, bada boom. There I go, I grab that shard. And I just wait, I watch him, and I go back, and then I grab the other shard. The shards are not really that difficult to get when you know exactly what you're doing. And I really like that. 
Now, I do die up here. Just forewarning you, I do die up here. <laughs> um, mainly because I wasn't exactly... Like, I accidentally made the wrong call, pretty much. Um, like, I knew what I was doing, but I had... Um, I moved a little too fast here, so... <laughs> not my fault, not my fault. It happens. So, I grab my ammo, and... I know the guy goes through the bamboo, um... I don't know what it's called, but I know it's made of bamboo. It was, uh, like a bamboo... Uh... Curtain kind of thing. So I knew he was gonna come through and he would see me if I was standing there, so... Just quickly, quickly make my way through. Yeah. So, I knew what I was gonna do. I was like, yeah, I'll just throw a, uh, noise whistle over here. But unfortunately, I moved and it caught me. So, that's how I was able to die so fast. <laughs> so, I kind of take this second to think to myself real quick. And that's also where a video got spliced. So, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but I spliced two videos right there together. But yeah, I figured out what I was doing wrong and I knew what I did. Like, I moved when I shouldn't have moved, because that's the only way they're going to see you behind the uh, bamboo curtain. Is if you move while in their field of view, because, you know, when you've got a white out outline around you, that means that you're hidden. So, and unfortunately, in my case, I was not, because I moved. So, just following the same rules, wait for that guard to move. Follow up behind him as fast as I can without running and making a noise. A little distraction could help me here. And so I just wait. And I think that's as far as I can move. I can't tell. So, but I just make a whistle noise. And I wait for him. For them both to be in the same place. And then I just whistle to make them both look somewhere else. Now, that was a plank I could walk across. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna jump it. Anything to move faster. So I'm observing, I'm trying to see if there's another shard. And there isn't one where I'm at. Although it looked like there was. But there isn't. So. Oh, pardon me. I don't mean to yawn. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure I'm making y'all yawn because I'm yawning. Uh, it's already 5.30, me trying to get this done. <laughs> Yep, so I move fast, I get done, I get over here. I see that guard, and I can't remember if he turns his head around. So I was just like sitting there for a few for a few minutes. Or I should say probably a few seconds, but just observing him, waiting for him to turn around. And I wasn't sure if he was, like I was waiting for, for quite a while. I was like, well he's not going to look, so I'll just go ahead and move this bridge up. And there we go. Now, this part did take a take or eat up, I should say. It ate up most of my time because I did um I was like waiting, I was trying to observe these guards and I wasn't doing a very good job observing. <laughs> so trying to just uh Wait for that opportunity. Oh, I'm so sorry. So I'm just waiting for that opportunity to kind of move and just trying to figure out how and when I can do it. And it was not easy. So just sitting there, just waiting, watching, trying, trying to make sure that I time it right. I'm like, well, okay, can I do a whistle? And I was like, no. I can't do a whistle. Whistles are not going to work. And when I did, it only caught the attention of one guard. And nobody moved from their spot. Everyone was still there. So, I knew. I realized from here at this point that doing a whistle was very, very useless. The only guard I had to worry about was that one on the very, very far end. The one that turns forwards and backwards and looks up and down. Not the one in the middle. He's fine. The one in the middle was fine. It was just that guy up there who was looking in my general vicinity. 
Like, he was the one I had a really hard time with. I even tried to throw a dart at him, but I think I, yeah, I miss. I, like, I throw it into the ground instead. I'm like, damn, I'm, I used my only dart I had left. So I kind of just made a quick call, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to move as fast as possible. Bam. Done. And I was like, wait. Yep, I was right, and then I knew there was another shard. I was like, I can't go. I can't finish. Oh, yeah, I forgot how close I was. Like, I forgot how close that my character, or like, how close she was to that, that cursor. Oh, my God. Oh, it scared me for a second. But, yeah, like, I was, I was like, I'm not going to finish this until after I grab that shard. Now, I... I do splice the video here, but that's because um, I didn't know if there was a cutscene or not, so I wanted to make sure it was a fresh video. So right here, yeah, that's where the video spliced. So I thought there was going to be a cutscene here, which is why I spliced the video, but it turns out it was just the end. So there I go. And voila! <laughs> so there's my my final score. Um, so I did start, like I said, I started the level over after I gotten so many uh, so many problems done, but I was able to accomplish what I accomplished. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cat the Gamer Gal. Just hit smash, credit chop, credit ch kick, and parkour onto that like button, and yeah. Be cool, play it safe, and stay awesome.